Welcome to LLE News. I'm Noam Cohen, and this is your news for this week. In this episode, we have Cupcake Day and the weather, STEM Day, Kids on the Street, lunch interviews, and in the kitchen. Hello, I'm Emerson. And I'm Hen. November 10th is National Vanilla Cupcake Day. Cupcakes have begun as far back as 1796. Cupcakes were originally baked in heavy pottery cups. Now let's go to the kitchen to learn how to bake vanilla cupcakes. Let's go see it. Hi, we are going to show you how to make vanilla cupcakes. First, put one cup of all-purpose flour. Next, you put three fourth cups of cup of sugar. Now put one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder. Ne Next, we mix. Next, we do two large eggs for the wet ingredients in a separate bowl. Now, now put two spoons of vanilla extract. Teaspoons. Teaspoons of it. Next, we add. Half a cup of warm milk. Now add one fourth unsalted butter stick melted. One and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil. Now we mix. Add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. Really slowly. And mix it until there's no clumps. Now we preheat the oven to 350. Cupcake tin halfway. Sure, there's an adult with you while you're using the oven. Bake the cupcakes for 22 minutes. After you cook the cupcakes for 22 minutes, they're ready for frosting. When you're done, when you can add some sprinkles. Happy National Vanilla Cupcake Day. We I hope you enjoyed our recipe. See you next time. Bye. Hello, I'm Jackie, and today I'm going to be interviewing our fabulous lunch ladies about the menu for this week. Let's get started. I'm Jackie, and I'm here with our lunch lady, Ms. Joanne. Can you tell us why pizza days are always Mondays and Fridays? It's the most popular for people to be eating with us. Cool. Can you tell me how the Luther Lee kitchen works? Well, we cook in, um, we, first, first we have to count all the tickets and what everybody's going to eat and then call the middle school to get our food because they don't, the food comes from the middle school and then we prepare it here, cooking it and setting it out. Cool. What's your favorite thing to do in the kitchen? Talk to you guys. Serve the lunch. Yay. Um, how many students do you think order school lunch per day? It varies. Today was very low. Be um, pizza day is high. So about 70, 75 on pizza day. Monday That's cool. How well, you already told me this. You get your ingredients from the middle school, right? Yeah, everything comes from the middle school. They're the main 
source of food supply. Yeah. So what's your favorite food? Mine would be mm, chicken patties. That's a good choice. Yeah. Okay, great. That's all for this week's lunch. Bye. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Ido, and today is the weather for LLE News. On Monday, it would be a high of 58 degrees and a low of 41 degrees. On Tuesday, it would be a high of 63 degrees and a low of 43. On Wednesday, it would be a high of 59 degrees and a low of 43. On Thursday, it's going to be a high of 60 degrees and a low of 51. On Friday, it's going to start being rainy with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 41. On Saturday, there's going to be a high of 51 degrees and a low of 48. On Sunday, there's going to be a high of 54 and a low of 43. That's the LA News Weather. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm Jackie, and November 16th is National Fast Food Day. Did you know that McDonald's is the most popular fast food restaurant? But you can't go wrong with a Starbucks vanilla bean frappuccino. Fast food began in the 1860s in Britain, where some of the first fish and chip shops opened up. Also, Dave Thomas founded the all-famous Wendy's. Popeyes was founded in Arby, Louisiana. You might already know this, but KFC stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's all about fast food. Now I'm going to interview some students who and teachers about their favorite fast food place. Enjoy your week. Bye. Right now I'm going to interview some people about their favorite fast food place. Here we go. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Chick-fil-A. Good one. What do you like to get there? Chicken nuggets and sometimes their waffle fries are really, really good. Thank you. Bye. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? I would definitely say Chick-fil-A. What do you like to get there? I'm going to go with the chicken nuggets and the fries. Nice. Bye. Thank you. Favorite fast food restaurant? McDonald's. What do you like to get there? Burgers. Nice. Bye. Thank you. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Mm. KFC. Cool. What do you like to get there? Mm, a lot of things. Okay, bye, thank you. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, I would say McDonald's. What do you like to get there? Mm, can I say two things? Sure. French fries and chicken nugget. Cool, have a nice day, bye. Please. Thank you. McDonald's. Cool, what do you like to get there? I like to get a Coke or a Sprite or a Happy Meal. Cool, bye, thank you, have a nice day. Hi, I'm Cam. And I'm Max. Today we will tell you about National STEM slash STEAM Day. Today is National STEM slash STEAM Day, November 8th. It calls for a full STEAM ahead. This day inspires kids to explore their interest in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Why is STEM slash STEAM Day so important? Now more than ever before. It is all around us and we use it every day whether you realize it or not. Now let's go interview some kids on the street about what their favorite STEM project was. Hi, I'm Max. And you are? Stella. What is your favorite STEM project you did this year? Uh, the airplane perfor performance log. Hi, I'm Kian. And you are? Dylan. And what's your favorite STEM project that you did this year so um, I really like the animal adaptations project. And we have Dylan. What was your favorite STEM project last year? Hard building. My name is Thank Kian, you. and what's your name? My name is Ethan. And do you remember what your favorite STEM project was last year? Yes, block org. And what's okay, your name? Thanks. Quinn. Quinn. What's your favorite STEM project from last year? Um, the card tower. Thank you so much for turning in. See you soon.